Hello, welcome to a tutorial on how to install our syslog log analyzer MongoDB. I have a uh, set of steps here that I'm going to provide a web link to, so you don't have to try to read this at the top. But anyway, it's uh, pretty much every command that you're going to need to run in order to get all of these uh, these tools working together. So I've started by creating a brand new uh, virtual machine. Uh, I happen to use ESX55. Uh, this VM just got done installing, so for the first time I'm going to reboot it. It's basically a CentOS 6.5 minimal installation. And we're booting up for the first time here, so this is truly a totally fresh install. The install of the CentOS took probably about eh, less than 10 minutes. I just took the defaults in ESX for uh, a CentOS 64-bit install and I downloaded the about 350 megabyte CentOS 6.5 minimum package. You can also use CentOS 6.5, the normal full install and choose minimum or you know something uh, other than minimum but I built my stuff off of minimum to try to keep it nice and nice and lean. Okay so First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it on the network so I can get out of this VMware console. All right, its address is 172.16.0.16. Before I close this console, I want to install VMware Tools later, so I'm going to insert the virtual VMware Tools CD. So we're kind of done with that for now. So we set it with 16, right? So we're going to create a... SSH session to that. All right, here we go. We're off to the races. I'm going to scoot this over. So first thing we're going to do is install some tools. This should happen relatively quickly. We're installing Nano, which is a screen editor, and WGET, which is going to help us grab some repositories off the internet. We're going to need those for, uh, if you take a look here, this repository is where the R syslog um, binaries are downloaded. Yeah, okay, we're just going to grab those repositories. That's pretty qu quick. Okay, here we're going to do our large install. And I'm probably going to time compress this video to make it faster because this will take a, a little bit of time. Okay, now that that's completed, let's install the VMware tools. Okay, VMware tools is up and running. Takes a little bit. So here's some uh, modification of some INI files, uh, especially the firewall. Um, and we're going to open those up, ports up. Okay, now we're going to create the etsy syslog comp file. And this file we're going to take and cut and paste all of this information all the way down to the hash marks, Oop, which I went past right here. And then when we're done, we hit Control D, and that saves the file. All right now, we're going to tell the services to start at boot, and then start them right now. We are going to have MySQL create the table for the uh, for log analyzer to uh, hold the users. So in here, there's some. Um, testing things like uh, drop the database and then recreate it and drop the users and recreate them because I was doing some testing earlier. So in here we're going to take and grab log analyzer and install it. Okay, now that's pretty much uh, the installation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the web page, click here to install, 
and we're going to run through the install procedure. So I'm going to take most of the defaults, except for I do want to enable the user database. If you look at this page here, it tells you what settings. So we're going to use database user of root. And if things go right, you're going to see you've created some, some statements and tables there. We're going to create a user, create whatever you like. I'm just going to use admin and admin. I'm going to create the name of the source. For me, it's going to be MongoDB with a type of MongoDB and a table type of MongoDB. And there's no user or password. Also, the database is logs, and the table name is syslog. And this thing says there's an error, but actually, if you rerun it, it's fine. I just hit enter again. And you get here to go to the log analyzer screen. Okay, it says there's no syslogs, so let's uh, let's create some. If I restart the syslog service, that creates some logs. So there we go. We've now installed log analyzer our syslog on top of CentOS uh, using MongoDB. One other feature of this that I do want to mention is in the var log, our syslog directory, which is currently blank, if you have any devices that are logging to the server, it will also create a text file and subdirectory for each of those devices. So I got a Cisco router here. I'm going to tell it to point, Here we go, point at this uh, syslog server. So you can tell the IP address of my router was 172.16.128 has now created a subdirectory with log files for that device. Hope this helps you. Have a great day.